Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired a meeting of the government's executive committee remotely. In line with His Majesty the King's Royal Directives, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underscored the importance of further strengthening the national efforts to combat the coronavirus to preserve the health and safety of the Kingdom's citizens and residents, which continues to be the top priority. His Royal Highness noted that successfully overcoming the challenge of defeating the virus requires a continued determination and commitment to vigilantly follow all precautionary measures. He further noted that it is the national duty and social responsibility of all individuals to ensure the health and safety of themselves, their families and the community, adding that precautionary measures are introduced for the interests of all. His Royal Highness expressed his confidence that Bahrain's citizens and residents will continue to support frontline workers and national efforts by adhering to all precautionary measures. He went on to highlight the commitment of Bahrain citizens and residents in supporting the Kingdom's progress and development during these unprecedented times, adding that their determination reflects their dedication towards achieving the Kingdom's development goals. A report on COVID-19 development submitted by the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus, headed by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, was then reviewed by the committee. The National Medical Task Force detected an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases due to a surge in gatherings and negligence in adhering to the precautionary measures issued by relative authorities. The National Medical Task Force reiterated the importance of abiding by all measures, including wearing masks, following social distancing rules, and avoiding gatherings. To support the educational process in the upcoming academic year, and in line with the presentation given by the Ministry of Education, it was decided to increase the percentage of workers who are performing their work in the office for a number of departments at the Ministry of Education starting from the 6th of September. According to the following, 50% of educational staff in schools with a rotation in attendance, 100% of the school's administrative body, 100% of the departments related to work of schools, and 100% of staff in the General Secretariat of Higher Education. Moreover, in support of what has been presented by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, it has been decided to increase the percentage of workers working in the office for a number of departments at the Ministry of Labor, starting from the 6th of September. According to the following, rehabilitation training and social care centers to 77%, employment services to 70%, labor inspection to 100%, and settlement of labor disputes to 100%. It was also decided, based on what was presented during the committee's meeting, to approve the resumption of the issuance of on-arrival visas and to instruct the Ministry of Interior to take the necessary measures for immediate implementation. Representatives from both the Shura Council and the Representative Council and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry held a joint meeting through remotely to review the study prepared by the Chamber on the challenges of the labor market and the effects of implementing the Flexi Permit. The first Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Jamal Fakhro, affirmed that the labor market and the national economy mov movement are witnessing transformations and developments that require a continuous review and a comprehensive evaluation of the regulations and legislations regulating the financial and business sector. He noted, the need for such meetings to contribute to the development and updating of the laws in force in line with the continuous developments and addressing the challenges that arise due to economic conditions and changes. For his part, the first Deputy Speaker of the Representative Council, Mr. Abdin Nabi Salman, Chairman of the Joint Committee between the House of Representatives and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, stressed the importance of the study and the recommendations in order to achieve the reorganization of the labor market. The chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, stressed in the meeting the importance of pushing cooperation between all stakeholders of economic production in the kingdom, which would contribute to the advancement of the national economy.
The Kingdom of Bahrain will join the world in celebrating the International Day of Charity on the 5th of September. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, hailed Bahrain's strides in promoting charity work and giving full priority to citizens in all national programs led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He paid tribute to His Majesty the King, hailing the Royal Directive to step up the RHF efforts to bolster community ties, contribute to the sustainable development, and build an inclusive society. He praised the support of the government chaired by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, hailing the follow up of His Royal Highness. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. He also praised the efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian, Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and RHF Board of Trustees Chairman. Measures are in place to reduce the chances of infection and spread of COVID-19 in the country's institutes of education. The Ministry of Education Assistant Under Secretary for Financial Resources and Services, Khalid Mohammed Al Gharib, has highlighted the guidelines laid out by the Ministry for students returning to school. However, strict health guidelines have been issued to public and private schools to ensure a safe and secure environment for the students and staff. Meanwhile, training workshops were held in a number of educational institutions with the aim of preparing them for the return of students at the start of the new academic year amidst COVID-19 pandemic. Public schools are scheduled to open on September the 16th, following recommendations by the National Task Force to combat the pandemic. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases has reached 3,230 with 368 recoveries, 626 registered new cases and four deaths. Among the new cases, 87 cases were detected among expatriate workers, 277 cases are contacts of active cases and three are travel related. The deceased were a 54-year-old and a 43-year-old male expatriates and male citizens aged 71 and 58. And the ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased. Furthermore, the Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible. An official source at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications has announced that Bahrain will allow all flights coming to and departing from the United Arab Emirates to all countries to cross its airspace. The source said that the Civil Aviation Affairs at the Transportation and Telecommunication Ministry had approved the request it had received from the General Civil Aviation Authority in the United Arab Emirates in this regard. 